Great example. You know, okay, I was invited to this gathering, mm -hmm. and I'm excited all week to go to the gathering. I'm right. Go. I'm gonna, you know, bring this dish for potluck, and right. then it's kind of the afternoon time to go, and I'm like, hmm, I don't really know if I want to go or not. Oh. And I'll kind of sit with it, and I'll think, and I'll do the same thing. And you see um, it. Well, just see, like, how do I really feel about going? Right. And and if I just feel tired or dull or gray, right. I'm not gonna see colors. I don't go, and then I'll always check with the person, you know, somebody right. again, they go, oh, good that you didn't go, you know, you wouldn't have liked that. That's it. right. I'm like, yeah. and, and you see, that gives you the courage then yes. to go to out the and bigger, try it with the bigger and bigger Because we choice. know when we get an intuitive hit, I call it, you know, we right. get a feeling about something and we don't follow through. We I mean, how many times have we said, I know. I knew that, I should, I should have listened to That's exactly to right. And yeah. people see this in the workplace all the time. Mm -hmm. For example, you're interviewing somebody to come in and work for you, and or even if it's a big company, you have to interview the new marketing director, for example, to see, to give your feedback. So the market, the new job uh, person sits there in your office and gives you all the right answers, right. has the perfect resume, right. and your gut is going, well, does not feel right, right yeah. you know? And yet you go to your uh, manager and you have to give a logical reason <laughs> right. about what you think about right. this person. Right. And you know, the resume is perfect, they had all the right answers, and we've got to learn to be able to say, but my gut didn't feel right. It just wasn't going to be it a fit. It wasn't going to be a fit. Right. And to be able to go with that. Yes. And the world is beginning to shift, Cindy, in little ways I, we're seeing I it. Do that. But people are starting to be able to live this way, even successful business people. Right. And in fact, I worked for an entrepreneur once in my journalism career who I deeply respected because, in spite of everyone's criticism of him, he always chose by the intuitive right. head that he had. Right. On people right. well you know and I know you talk a lot about meditation yeah and I would like to address something that with a local company here in Boulder which was the white wave uh, tofu right, company right. and the owner Steve Dima was a yeah. big uh, meditator and I was at a lecture he was giving at Naropa one night and he was talking about um, the person who came up with the word silk which is oh, their right. soy drink right and that actually came through meditation oh that's beautiful and really when you look through history you'll see a lot of information that people were looking for came through dreams right or came when they were doing something else exactly they weren't really right. focusing on that thing. exactly like right. when they were trying to find the molecular structure you know how 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 mo molecules will put together and they it was these uh, Dutch guys and it was a long time ago and they were trying to figure it out in the lab and the right, logical right. thing. And then one of the scientists had a dream, I yes. don't remember his name, yes. sorry, um, of a, a hexagonal shape right. structure of one snake eating the other one's tail, and that was the benzene molecule, and it came in a dream like that. I have heard yeah. so many stories like that. And even in Freud's writings, mm -hmm. um, you know, he would have dreams about things that actually ended up being prophetic about his life, mm -hmm. and yet he would misinterpret them in sort of sexual ways, the way Freud did. That way. <laughs> because right. he would, but he would write them all down, mm -hmm. and then as you went back and looked at his life and the events that happened, you could say, oh, he dreamt that, he dreamt that. five years before it happened. Mm -hmm. It was like he had a warning about going in a different direction, doing sure. something different, and didn't listen, and so then that event unfolded. Our dreams is are always on purpose to either help us or to help someone else. Mm -hmm. There is no accident. No accident. So, That's a hard thing to grasp, I think, for a lot of people. It that, is. That there is no, that it's not really random it's, out there. Right. In fact, the greatest quantum physicists of our time now say, no, this is an elegant universe. Right? <laughs> this is not yeah. a random... Well, you know, once science <laughs> proves it, then people can maybe go along with it, even and though they've true. known all along And, you know, the, the quantum physicists are now saying they're merging with the spiritual viewpoint. Absolutely. And they're saying, yeah, this is an energetic universe. We are all energy beings. We are light beings, pulsing waves of light. This is an illusion. Well, that's what the spiritual teachers have been saying. <laughs> Forever. 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 So it's finally beginning to merge. And then we also, as we're, I think our consciousness evolving created this economic meltdown mm -hmm. because there were so many people unhappy in their careers. Yes. And so as our consciousness evolves, we created an opening, a shifting, right. so that that job you've hated for 20 years is it's now gone. gone. It doesn't need to exist anymore. <laughs> and you, you could do it if you want. Right. Time, right, and so you get an opening, and again, it's free will if you're going to mm -hmm. take it, 
to go in the path that's right for you and create your success that way. Now, it's up to every person if they take that, but that opportunity is on so many people's plate right now.